two roading related issues went to the Dunedin City Council this week. One was a new road safety action plan developed by Dunedin Council's police and government agencies. It has a goal of cutting fatal and serious injury crashes in half in the next decade. During discussion on the issue at a DCC committee, it emerged drivers in Dunedin had a problem with red lights. But there may be an answer. We have got a problem in Dunedin with red light running, that's definitely for sure. One of the reasons possibly is there can be a little bit of frustration how long the lights um, take to change. And we've actually got a guy down here actually this week looking at that, how we can keep our intersections safe but make them more efficient. Minimus says that work will involve looking at traffic lights and their sequencing on critical corridors like the one-way system before more work on individual intersections later in the year. Meanwhile, option 1A emerged recently, a new proposal that provides separated cycleways but loses fewer parking spaces as Dunedin looks for ways to curb cyclist fatalities. The plan went before a council committee and was approved, along with two other options for consideration. A business case will now be developed for all three, and those initiatives should mean plenty of changes ahead for city roading. David Lockray, 39 Dunedin News.